painting the blouse pattern. Fold your pattern paper on a crosswise manner. Make sure that we have a center fold on it. Now again, if this is my center fold, top, we measure downward 3 inches for our allowance. Now again, this is my center fold. So from the center fold, going to the right, we measure 5 inches or 8 inches and square the 9. Now this is for our allowance. Now locate the center fold. If this is my point one, our procedure says that you need to trace the. Um, our procedure says that you need to draft the basic pattern of the blouse or your basic bodice pattern before forming the pattern for our blouse. So this is our point one, and for instance, I've already drafted my basic bodies pattern so I already have the different parts for this I am ready now to draft this sleeveless blouse pattern so the last number on our basic pattern is 23 so from 23 to 24 we need to add 6 inches and mark 24 and square the line. Now from point 24 going to the right, we measure the one fourth of our hip measurement as indicated on our procedure and mark point 25. Then connect points 22 and 25 using your hip curve, placing it like this, forming a slightly curved outside curve for our hip curve. Then, this is our point 0.5 and this is our point 0.6. So you deduct one, one inch because this is a sleeveless, sleeveless blouse pattern. So we deduct one, in, one inch and the this is our 5A, but please refer to the labeling of our points on your module, in your module. So it doesn't matter what would be my labeling of points, but as long as um, the deducted or the added measurements are the same, you may just please refer to the points or the labels on your procedure, and uh, in our module. So. From point 5A going to our 6A, we measure 6 inches for the depth of our sleeveless blouse. Uh, 6 inches diagonal going to the center front and mark point 6A. Then connect points 5A and 6A using your French curve if you wanted to have it uh, a slightly curved neckline, placing it like this. Or or you have the option in making it a V neckline blouse. So you just use a connecting 5A to 6A using your ruler or your L square. So like that. And from point 24 going to uh, the right. You measure the one half of your bust distance and mark point 26. Then connect it to the point 16, 7, 16A, 17A, and 18A. Completing our darts. Then, from your point 6A, you measure outward 3 fourth for our bottom lap. Again, please refer to the 
points or label in our measure. So there are two trig fours in here. So this is now our sleeveless blouse pattern. Now we need, are ready to add allowances. Now for the neckline, this is only one half. For the shoulder line, this is three fourth. For our armhole, this is five eight. There are no allowances that are added inside. It should be outside. So for our sides, this is one inch. And for the hemline, this is one and one half inches. So that is that is how you add allowances. Now for the remaining of the blouse, please try to refer in our procedure on how to properly draft that one. So it is just like a following and understanding and comprehending your procedures. So even if this is only a sleeveless blouse pattern, you can uh, properly draft your other blouses based from this one. Because there are no other differences. For example, from 5 to 5a, it shouldn't be 1 inch, but it should be 1 half only. That is how we do it. So, please do not cut your patterns if you haven't finalized it, if you haven't added allowances on it. Okay, because that is the rule. Okay? So, Thank you and God bless. May you have a wonderful pattern making activity and submit it on time. Thank you.